there was an attempt by large corporations to convince the public to give up their rights to access the court system, which is our third branch of government. So the movie has four storylines. They're all character-driven, and each one represents a different way that we as a society are saying, here, corporations, you make more money and take our rights away from us. And what is that you decide to pick up? I'm a lawyer. I practiced law for 25 years, and this story needed to be told. And I kept waiting for someone else to tell it, and nobody did, so I decided, okay, maybe it's me. And I named my production company, If Not Now Productions. So I know the hot coffee case, you know, a lot of people, the public felt that it was your case. What was it that the public didn't know? Well, most people think she was driving, which she wasn't. She was a, she was 79 years old. She was a passenger in a parked car. The coffee was so hot that it caused third-degree burns, which are the worst kind of burns, within three to seven seconds of contact. It, McDonald's kept their coffee between 180 and 190 degrees. And the quality assurance representative for McDonald's testified at trial that you can't drink coffee at that temperature because you will burn yourself. They had paid out over 700 times to people who had been burned by, co by their coffee. And all this woman wanted was the difference between what Medicaid pay Medicare paid for her medical bills and, and what her medical bills were. And McDonald's offered $800 and never offered another penny. And the jury was unanimous and they got angry. And the verdict was two days of coffee profits for McDonald's. And which the judge then reduced to a significant, like one sixth of that amount of money and then they settled. So the, 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 the facts were distorted completely. Jane Pauley, the night of the verdict, reported on NBC Nightly News. She was substituting for Tom Brokaw, and she reported the facts incorrectly to the world on NBC News. So, and then it just get, it got like um, you know continued to be repeated the wrong facts, and then Seinfeld did a whole episode. I don't know if you remember Kramer spilled coffee, and you know, I mean, it became the laughing stock of our civil justice system, and that was not that didn't just happen. You know, the reason that you still know about that case, which happened in 1994, was because millions and millions of dollars has been spent to, on a, in a public relations campaign to make sure that you think that that was a frivolous lawsuit. Because if we think we have a frivolous, there are a lot of frivolous lawsuits, we're willing to give up our rights. We're willing to change the system, reform, which most people think is a good thing. Reform usually means the citizens, you give up your rights, and corporations, you make more money. Now, being that you're a lawyer, a lot of times corporations do work against the people. Where did you get the feeling that you were listening to? Wow. You know, I, I've always been the kind of person who wanted to make the world a better place, you know, from the time I was a kid. So, I mean, I became a lawyer to actually do that. And this film, which, it's like there seems to be a hunger for the truth because people are responding. I mean, we've been at many, many film festivals and then we'll be on HBO on June 27th. And it seems like when people hear the facts, they say, usually the reaction is, this is eye-opening. Why didn't I know this? I think I'm a smart person and I didn't know this information. And it's so fundamental to our to our civil rights. So I just wanted to get the word out. I wanted to, to let people know the truth so that when they vote in elections, they actually are informed voters. And when they sit on juries, they actually are like independent. They're not biased. You know, I tell people all the time, I'm not trying to change people's minds with this movie. I just want to open people's minds. And you be the jury. But at least listen to both sides of the story before you come up with a, with a verdict.